it appears there's a request for our presence. Hello, who are you? L. L, welcome. Thank you very much for coming through. You are welcome. Uh, yeah, the questions are, okay, whatever you say, I will uh, post as text on the site. And the questions are the same. Uh, are you still on 2027 date for the economical crisis? At this time. Thank you. That is very important. How do you feel about it? What is your projection? How will it go? Still too early to tell, but according to our interpretation of the situation, the estimation is a loss of 50% instead of 60%. How, how this uh, people will be lost? Mostly from rioting. So not hunger, but rioting. Hunger will be a factor in the later dates afterwards, but the initial damage will be from rioting and fear. How can it prevent this big loss? By bringing the vibration up on the humanity of Earth. Are you helping with the contact? We are. How, how can we help down here on Earth with uh, making the contact and uh, again, how I think the contact could help uh, reducing the loss of humans in the 2027 uh, crisis. How it, can we help that? It will be a factor, but it will not reduce fear when there is loss of economy. So after the economy is lost, uh, the banks will still remain in place and corporations and governments? There will be a change. They will be there, but they will not have the same responsibilities. Uh, who will give them their responsibilities? They will know what they must do at that time. That is a factor that has to be figured in yet. Relatives still are in place. I don't understand what you mean relatives still are in place. There are unfactored elements that still may come into play. I understand. Um, Thank you very much for the work you are doing. Are you sure it is absolutely necessary? It's the optimal and the needed thing to do to do the crisis and kill three and a half billion humans? We will not have killed them. They will have killed each other. And that's best timing and you know the the least loss of the. If they would understand the truth, no one would die. Thank you. We will bring as much truth as we can. The alien contacts will help with this truth, mm -hmm. but there are many that still do not believe, and many that will be in fear of the aliens. So the bringing the truth is the main endeavor? Yes. The truth is you cannot survive without change. Yes, this is true. How can we help down here on Earth for the, in this endeavor? Without becoming physically involved with your humanity, there is only a few things that we can do. We cannot become physical. We are spirit in nature. So which, how would you influence things if you are spiritual? We would delegate some of the responsibility to understanding species. Humans and others? Humans do not understand. Very few do. Mm -hmm. They do not understand the method. So aliens would be a major tool in transforming? Yes. Would they take the responsibility or still do it 
in a hidden fashion. We will ask them to do it the way that we feel most responsible. If they do not respond favorably to our requests, they will be eliminated from the thought of helping us. Thank you for answering the question. I, uh, my question was a little different. Taking responsibility means taking control and saying, I am in charge. We will not have them do so. So they will do that through just... They will be advisors. Advising. Yes. That is important. We didn't know that. They will not take charge. It is not the way which will work well. Great. I understand. Oh. Advisors to those who understand. Do you have anything else just to say to my uh, readers, like a uh, message, a blessing? There are many blessings to give, and we give them daily and constantly. We are many. We have many facets and do many things at once. How unified are you? We are one. We are many, just like your God, who is one and many. But we do not control the universe. We control what we have. Um, what is the communication between you and God? He is our advisor. He advises us when we go or start to move in a direction that is not complementary with the universe. Is the human creator from the Bible the same thing as all that is? The creatures that have written the Bible on your planet have many diverse reasons for bringing such violence to the Old Testament. But that is not the same God as Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve are gods? No. But their God was the true God. Oh, the God of Adam and Eve. Okay. So the true God, the creator of Earth and humanity, is it the same thing as all of this? Yes. When, how do you talk to them? Can you just talk to them, to that God? We attach ourselves to his thought patterns. Uh-huh. How benevolent are you? Can you describe your benevolence? Benevolence. We are that we are. We are a positive force. We do not involve ourselves in negative thoughts deeds or actions. Everything is logical that we do to preserve humanity. Some must die unless they understand what is happening. This is to preserve the species. I think you understand. You said if, you're, if a person, a human, understands what is happening... They will not die. What if violent people die, a person who understands? You will know where to go to be hidden beforehand. Oh, hidden? That's something new. Can you explain? You will know when this is happening, so you will have an opportunity to move away from the populated areas that will be of the greatest trouble at first. Then when you come back to the cities after the turmoil is passed, you will understand what is left and how to use it. So, that is new. So there will be an exodus from cities to rural areas. From those who understand. And you assume it will be a very small percent. I am hoping that it will be larger than our assumption. How, how long will be the crisis? 
It will last for several months. In Russia, the winter is really strong. So if people move from Moscow to rural areas, if it happens in the winter, it will be hard to survive from cold. On the other hand, if you do it in the winter in Russia, then in Australia there will be trouble, but it's not as densely populated. We will do what we need to do at the right time. I understand. So, movement from the cities to rural areas, that's a big news. Oh, thank you very much for explaining that. There will be much knowledge given beforehand. Much knowledge. To those who understand, they will be saved. Will, will this knowledge be public? It will be public enough for those to be saved who are understanding. Thank you very much. That's great help. Thank you much. Please come often, especially in public webinars. That would be great. And I really appreciate your visit today. Public webinars are not appropriate for us. Do you mind if I publish the audio of that recording? If you desire. Thank you much. Please come again and uh, much love to you. We bow. So what kind of God is El? Um, our alien friends define El as an ancient group of spirits. Um, here is the page of Wikipedia on El, El deity, and there is a lot of information on El. Um, here is a picture. It says El seated on a, on a throne with a lion, with lion feet, wears conical horned headdress, a tunic and a mantle. He receives gifts from priest, king, and lesser deity. The wind globe is above them in the background. A stella found in Palestine. Uh, in Canaan, uh, El was also known was a god also known as the father of humankind and all creatures, and the husband of the goddess Asherah. The bull was symbolic to El and his son Baal Hadad, and they both wore bull horns on their headdress. El had fathered many gods. I continue reading from Wikipedia. Proto Sinaitic, Phoenician, Aramaic, and Hittite texts. Uh, El was referred as El of the Covenant and El the Judge. In Canaan, El was the Supreme God, father of mankind and all creatures. His sons were Hadad, Yam, and Mot. Each share similar attributes to the Greek Roman gods Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades, respectively. El is called again and again. Tor El or Bull El or the Bull God, creator of creatures, father of the gods, father of men, creator eternal. The pitted Olam appearing in Hebrew form in the Hebrew name of God El Olam, God eternal. El is a gray bearded ancient one, father of years, El the warrior. Hebrew Bible. El is a generic word for God that could be used for any God including Baal, Maloch, and Yahweh. The theological position of the Tanakh is that the names El and Elohim, when used in, in the singular to mean the supreme and active God, refer to the same being as does the name Yahweh. All three refer to the one supreme God who is the God of Israel, beside from beside whom other gods are supposed to be either non-existent non -existent or insignificant. Yahweh says in Exodus, I revealed myself to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as El Shaddai, but wasn't known to them by my name Yahweh. Abraham accepted, accepted the blessing of El when Melchizedek, the king of Salem, 
and high priest of its deity El Elyon blessed him. In some places, especially in Psalm 29, Yahweh is clearly envisioned as a storm god, something not true of El so far as we know, uh, though true of his son Baal. And here is the last quote from Wikipedia, which quotes uh, the Oxford Companion to World Mythology. It seems almost certain that the God of the Jews evolved gradually from the Canaanite El, who was in all likelihood the God of Abraham. If El was the high God of Abraham, Elohim the prototype of Yahweh, Asherah his wife, and there, uh, Asherah was his wife, and there are archaeological indications that she was perceived as such before she was, in effect, divorced in the context of emerging Judaism of the 7th so, century um, BCE. I quoted for you the Wikipedia only to excite you, to make you more excited, to show you the importance. Obviously, you have to take those ancient definitions of El with caution. These are interpretations which are it could, which could be greatly changed by, by the way you look at it. Obviously, El is part of the God, of the big, of the everything, of the Creator, but, but you and I are also part of the Creator. Um, when I ask the aliens, uh, I ask my alien friends, I speak to them through, through a channeler, uh, through Jim, and I ask them about El. They say that it is an uh, ancient group of spirits, and they explain that El is a part that this, these ancient spirits are of very high vibration and they are responsible for distribution of wealth in the universe, in the galaxy. They say about 99% of civilizations in our galaxy are using L instead of money. L is responsible for distribution and fair and beneficial distribution of wealth and resources between the individuals and civilizations, uh, when they ask El if he is distributing wealth with pla uh, among animals and plants, and he said, he answered always, I asked him if he is involved with banks, with the banks, and he said also always, I asked him if he is an ancient god, Ptah, and he said perceptions change. And here he distanced himself, distanced himself from the violence in the ancient Bible, but again he is bringing new violence in 2027, saying and justifying it that it is necessary for survival of our species. My take on that is that it's in our hands, it's in our power of global collective consciousness to change that scenario. If we are smart enough, if we are passionate enough, we can change that plan and basically spread the knowledge, spread the awakening, awaken the humanity. So we have 13 years and with the help of aliens, uh, with the open contact, there will be an opportunity for us, for the earth, to learn, to awaken and to change the system not in a revolutionary way, but in evolutionary way. So, you know, the violence of 27, 2027 sounds like a revolution. How about we change it to a reform where people don't die when we all collectively change things to the better? That's the main idea, and I hope you will share it with us. Mm. Join our website, humancolony.org. Apply there to visit the stars, to visit the human colonies. Live long and prosper. Have a good day.